Hey Shabab, welcome to a brand new video to be precise to part 4 Al-Jus Al-Rabiah and so in the previous video you saw how we create a data layer our task entity and here we use a priority class and now I would say let's move on to the data transfer object and here I would suggest we create a new package. So there it is package. Call it, I would say, model. And let's create a new data class. Then we should call it task DTO. And yeah. Oh, just don't ask again. I'll say add. Okay. Um, basically, what the DTO is going to do, the data transfer object, um, you should not, um, perhaps, you will not use all the attributes and uh, for of your entity and so on and so forth. And that's why you should have a separate class, a DTO class, which we will use when we when the user when we want to show some data to our clients and yeah um, this this class will come especially in handy when we do some get requests and uh, but yeah for now i would just show every fields we have in our entity class that's why i would suggest that we to save some time just we copy some things you're out so i just um, remove some stuff uh, dot, 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 dot. so that. so basically like this this will be okay this will be uh yeah this, this will stay a string you will just by the way you have a in mac you have a shortcut to remove uh, several lines it's Alt, Shift, just just let me just uh, okay make the cursor in the right uh, point. Alt, Shift, and then add a cursor, add a cursor, and add a cursor. And with command delete, you can delete all of these. This, as you can see, this saved some time. And what we're going to do is now just also remove the the fields here. So. So, so, say, yeah, okay, and so on. Same thing here. Um, this I will remove separately. Okay. Okay, and as you can see, we have all the fields here. Just the thing that missing now is we want that every field here should be a uh, val. So uh, let's say replace all. And now we have all your val values, okay, some constants, uh, so, so, so. Uh, to get rid of all the unnecessary imports, I use the, the shortcut alt command and o. Uh, was it? Ah, sorry, it was contr control alt and o. Okay, nice. <laughs> Uh, nice. We have now our DTO. As I said, we will use this class especially when we do some, uh, when we show uh, data to the client. And now I would say let's move on um, to the class which we will use when we create something, when we use a post request. So we will create a new data class. Uh, get the class selected, and I would say let's name it task create request. This class we will use when we send a post request, and so on from from an HTTP client like Postman, or later than from from Feel Free or Android from an Android app. So, okay, data class. And I would say let's use the same trick from before. Let's 
navigate back to this class, the PTO class, uh, copy paste all the necessary fields. So, okay, here we have some differences. For instance, the ID. Uh, the ID should never be um, should never be blank. So so that's why that's why we annotated it not blank and said and add a message for it that says task ID can be empty. So, okay. Uh, for the for the description, we use the same annotation. That's why I'm copy pasting it right now. But of course, we want to use a different message. Task description can't be empty. Actually, I just could have just. Uh, actually, I could have just saved some time and just <laughs> get rid of the ID. But okay, uh, in the in the message. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, reminder can stay how it is here. The is task open as well, uh, but. But 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 for here for the created on we need a value and yeah just say task created on can't be empty and yeah that's basically it this class we will use when we want to send a post request. To the backend, and uh, yes, I would say we can move on for when we want to update a class and go again to the model package, say new class, and say here again data class. We say create um, no task update request. Okay. Okay. Let's create it. Go back to the DTO, <laughs> copy paste it again. I probably even had it in my memory, but okay, <laughs> nonetheless. Okay, we but when we want to update the class, mm, there's already an ID for it, and we want never to update the ID. So that's why we can get rid of the ID field here. Uh, we might want to update the uh, description. Uh, but maybe also not, so that's why we can make it here uh, malleable. And yeah, and because we will use a um, later, we, uh, we will use a patch um, endpoint, and there we'll just add the fields that we want to update. And so that's why I would um, recommend to make it here every field uh, malleable. Um, and now we may maybe understand why I added here some annotations that some of these fields should not be uh, blank because for the client side we not not every time we will send some actual values. Um, but yeah, um, as I said, we will use then a um, patch, re patch request where we just add some data we will change and the um, old data will be uh, restored. Uh, yeah, so make this as nullable as well. And I think we have everything. But um, the thing is, now we don't need the created on field because we also never want to change or update it when the task is created. The, the timestamp, we never want to change it. So that's why we get rid of this field. And now we should have here four fields. Description is reminder set is task open and priority. We will only update those fields. 
And so, okay, I would say we are finished with that. And I think we are, yeah, we have basically finished with the data layer. Let's move on to the next part. Now we will create the repository. And I think I would make this an uh, extra video um, because I will explain there some extra things. And yeah, uh, if you have some further questions, uh, maybe just check out my medium.com um, post, my blog post. And if you have some questions, just write it in the comment section below. Um, be so kind, please like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Ila alika.